It's been 50 years since Linda Nochlin penned her seminal text, Why Have There Been No Great Women Artists? And we are very excited to be here at Sotheby's today, introducing you to an auction that spans 400 years of art history and is the first cross-category sale dedicated to works by female artists. I'm here with my colleagues today to discuss some of our highlights uh, from various categories so that we can celebrate these women and their contributions to art history. This painting is by Rachel Reich, who is one of the most highly regarded still life painters of the Dutch 17th century, male or female. She was the first woman to be accepted as a member of the Painters Guild in The Hague, where she was living at the time. This picture was painted in the 1680s. Her father was actually a botanist, so she was first introduced to specimens of flowers and butterflies at a very early age. And we think that actually she probably used some of them in her paintings. So she was quite young at this stage. Uh, she'd just finished training with her teacher four years before. What sort of age would, would she have been? She was been? 22 in 1687. That's so interesting uh, because actually we have this painting by Jenny Savile, which she also did when she was 22. Oh, wow. She realised that women had largely been excluded from art history. So that made her want to tackle painting. So she is looking at herself here and painting her flesh and her, her own body in this very particular way which hadn't really been done before. It's funny seeing it next to um, this portrait by Mary Beale. Mary Beale started as an amateur artist painting portraits of her friends and their children and she actually became professional when her husband lost his job and she became the main breadwinner in the family. She set up a studio on Pall Mall in London. This is obviously a portrait of a child and it's interesting because behind you, Lisa, there's obviously this amazing portrait by Françoise Gillot of, of her daughter, right? Yeah, exactly. So this painting is of Piloma, uh, Françoise Gillot's daughter, um, with Pablo Picasso. Paloma Picasso here is portrayed in 1965. In 1949, Gillot was actually signed by Kahnweiler. He was going to be her only dealer, and she actually was only one of two women who he signed in his career. And this afforded her a sort of artistic independence. This work is a really strong and vibrant example by Gillot. You see in this work the scale and the bold use of colour. A work that was also made in the 60s, that work by Helen Frankenthaler. This is a work on paper, but you can almost feel how painterly it is, and the, the texture and the pooling of the paint, and the enjoyment of, of that. And it also reminds me of another uh, artist in the sale, Cecily Brown. In this work, we can see these very fleshy brush strokes that she's so well known for. And we can see there's this tension between abstraction and figuration. It is just so energetic and vibrant and beautiful. Talking about the lines between abstraction and figuration, it also does draw links in some ways to the work of Dorothea Tanning. This work from 1950, it's actually a design for a ballet set. So this one's from The Witch, which is a story of a witch and a kiss that kills. You really see a fantastic meld of her uncanny and surreal with the very theatrical side of the ballet. And you see the witch and her form and outline here. You see the sort of elongated chin and the nose and the abstracted end of the head. But also when you look closely, you can see that these forms here are almost the elongated figures of ballet dancers. The sale is a celebration of works by women artists over the past 400 years and will be open online for bidding at sotheby's.com from the 20th until the 27th of May and we will also have the works on view in London in our new Bond Street galleries from the 22nd of May.